Okay, you're given the sequence 6, 20, 50, 102, 182, 296, and we're supposed to find the next term in the sequence using successive differences. And what we mean by successive differences is the difference from between one term and the term before it. So the difference from 6 to 20 is 20 minus 6 or 14. 50 minus 2 is 30. 102 minus 50... 50 is 52, 182 minus 102, 80, 296 minus 182 is 114. If we could find the number that goes right here, we would add that number to 296 to get the next term. Well, let's keep going. 30 minus 14, 16. I won't repeat all these, but when you get to this third layer, you end up with an arithmetic sequence, which means there's a common difference between each successive term. It happens to be six. So we didn't have to write this layer. If we recognize that this was an arithmetic sequence, we could just have added six. But the point is, the next term in the third layer has to be 40. And this 40 is the common difference between 114 and the next term here. So this has to be a 154. And this 154 is the common difference between 296, or the difference between 296 and the next term in the sequence. So if we add 154 to 296, we will have the next term. 10, 1, 15, 1, looks like 450, okay? And if we wanted to find the next term, we would just follow the same pattern. We'd add 6 here, 46, add 46 to 154 would give us the next term here, and so on. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.